In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite adjustments and really just my favorite defense in general for tight offset tight end. And this is going to kind of be built around a very specific blitz concept that you can do against tight offset tight end or really any tight formation uh, with this blitz that I'm going to show you today out of dollar. Now, uh, this is a very specific too tight adjustment uh, that makes this really, really, really good. If you would like to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. That's where you'll be able to get access to everything, all of our ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks, any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. And we're working on some really, really cool stuff that's going to not only make you a better player in Madden 23, but it's going to make you a better defensive player in any Madden ever. We're going through and uh, and doing a lot of work on the defensive side of the ball, trying to get you guys ready for Madden 24. So if you're not a member yet, great time to sign up for it. 10 bucks gets you access to everything and the links down below. Okay, so coaching adjustments for this defense uh, real quick. So we're just going to put these all on default or leave these all on default. Zone coverage, we're going to put this on match. But really important here, we're going to be base aligned. And the reason is you want to come out base aligned. Now we're going to unbase align in the adjustments. And I'm going to show you why we're going to do that. Um, you don't have to come out baseline, but I do think it helps uh, with the alignment. Okay. So the play is uh, PE shot seems that's play everybody wants to run and DB fire too. Okay. So you see here that in this, in this kind of arrangement of the formation, this guy walks down to the line of scrimmage. Now, if I show blitz, watch what happens here. You're going to notice that the guy on the right doesn't move. Okay. So you see the guy on the right doesn't move. Um, the guy on the left does move. Okay. Now the problem is he's not on the line of scrimmage. He's actually just a little bit offset. So if I contain, he's not going to come in, even if they don't block, like even if they send five out, the guy on the right will come in, but the guy on the left does not come in as you can see. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to unbase a line. So we're going to unbase line. Notice the guy on the right does not move at all. The only guy that moves are the guys on the left and the outside corners. We're going to then rebase line, show blitz. And what you'll see is now that corner is down on the line of scrimmage. You can then crash your line underneath or however you want to do so. And what you'll notice is we're going to get really, really good pressure at the opponent. Now, if they don't run play action, so let's say they run like Saints in, for example, um, another way you can kind of accomplish this is just don't be base aligned at all and then just show blitz and then spread line QB contain. Okay. Uh, you could do it that way as well. But what you'll notice here is if they run like a regular pass play, you're going to get the loop blitz off the left and the edge rush off of the right side. Now, another thing that you can do uh, against play action to get better pressure is you can pass commit so what you'll see here i'm going to pass commit you're going to see we're going to loop around the edge and we got a pretty decent chance of that coming in for a sack so they pretty much have to block um their running back uh and and really you know the beauty of this is if we just send four a lot of times this looper is still going to get around the running back he either gets that quick auto shed or you're going to get some type of pressure now another thing back to uh back to the left side here for just a second. So let's say we did, um, you know, maybe a, a concept like this, very popular. So if we did something like this, uh, what you'll see now is if I send four, um, we're still going to get, we got a pretty good chance of getting pressure off of that left edge. I need to recrash the line down, um, you know, but we still got a chance to get pressure off the left edge. So, and I'll show that one more time. We'll go to a different setup. But basically the idea is this uh, in tight. You want to blitz off the opposite side of the tight end. That is the, the real vulnerable side in terms of pass pro. As you see right there, the loop comes in super fast and it's really hard to block. It's really hard to block even if you do block a tight or a, a running back. So you'll see here, like if I block this running back, it's still not the easiest thing in the world uh, to pick up. So you'll see here, loops in, running back doesn't block it. That's, sending four guys versus blocking six, okay? So what this allows us to do in our coverage is it gives us a plus one advantage in our coverage. So what we like to do, what I like to do with this real simple tight offset defense, 
uh, is I'm going to set up that blitz on that on that left side. And then my adjustments are as follows. What I like to do is I am going to roll the cup, roll the safeties to the short side of the field. So in this example, we're going to outside third, the right side corner. We're going to middle third, the right side safety. And then we're going to leave that top safety on a deep half. Or you could put him in an outside third if you have the ability to do so. Now, the other thing that I like to do is create kind of a bracket concept where I'm going to cloud flat the outside corner uh, and then I'm going to man up the linebacker on the outside tight receiver. And then the last thing that we're going to do is you're going to hard flat over there on the right or just man him up on the running back in general or drop him in a vertical hook. Any of those are good adjustments. And then I like to pass commit if they are, you know, potentially running this play right here. So what you'll notice is if they run something like this, this concept, it really struggles to beat this defense. You'll see here the blitz is going to give us decent pressure. And then you see that that deep half is actually able to play that deep corner route. Now I'll show you another thing that you can do uh, real quick or another variation of the same basic concept. Uh, and it's this right here. So we're going to outside quarter on that side and then we're going to man up both receivers so we're going to take our safety who has inside shade man him up on the deep corner we're going to man that other guy up on the outside guy and then we're still going to create a roll concept from the right so you see this is what it looks like now what this coverage shell does is it just gives us a little bit better defense uh on the deep corner route uh, it's not quite as good on the short corner. So you see here, again, the pressure comes in pretty good, and you see that we're able to play. I just got to get a KO there, but or click on and make a play. But you see the idea. So with us able to you know send pressure with relatively little adjustments, it really does make this really, really good. And the thing that the man up does that I like is let's say they run a concept like this over here on the right side. If they run a concept like this over here on the right side, now because we have um, – because we have man coverage bracketing both of these defender or receivers, now all we have to do essentially is just take the drag route uh, and kind of lurk back to the post. And you see that by that time, the pressure's coming in hot. So this is a really, really good defensive concept for tight sets. It's not just tight offset, but when you unbase a line and show blitz uh, against a tight set, you are going to find, I think, a lot of success because what this does is it puts this guy in really good position uh, to be able to loop off of the edge. So if they ever do run, you know, anything like Saints in, the loop blitz is going to pretty much almost always come in, and it just makes it really, really hard for them to move up and down the field. If you guys want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member, gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. You can join by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.